Trainer, cool customer. He's uh, not having it his own way in the series at the moment. Lying in 10th place in the series. Only competed in one Grand Prix, of course, where he finished second in uh, Skate America. So bidding for a place in the Grand Prix Finals. It is, of course, Johnny Weir. perspective he's going to have to get a personal best to finish ahead of Nobunari in the short Look to be a double footed landing on that triple toe at the end of the combination Beautiful axle, lovely arm positions in the landing. Superb control. Now I would have the edge. A little suspect going into that flip. So free, great balance over the skates. You almost forget they're there at times. Well, it's a beautiful program, there's no doubting that. Great levels on the spins and the footwork, but I've got a couple of errors in there. Be great to see them in the slow-mo. Johnny Weir bidding to get into the Grand Prix Finals. Pretty sure he's going to do it. He'd have to have an absolute nightmare not to make it through. And it's important for the US because Evan Lysacek, he's completed his Grand Prix now and he's in seventh place, so he hasn't got a pay place in the finals. But of course, Jeremy Abbott does. And it's the strong, balletic style, isn't it? The, the, the outfit works in the spins very well. It changes color as he's turning. And it is his wonderful style for me of skating. It's not just the fact of skating around and doing the jumps. It's the whole presentation. The landing of at least two of the jumps with the arms in slightly different positions. Everything adds for me. Well, that's clean. Made the rotation on the Lutz, which is important. Now watch this. Double-footed, I think. Yes, indeed it was. Rotation seemed to be okay. Here he is setting up the axle and watch for the distinctive landing that Nicky was talking about. Takes it's beautiful. It actually helps him check the jump as well. It looks great, doesn't it? Really does. Because the front arm, the left arm, just holds him in line. Yes? Yep. Now, we're going to get a look at this flip, because I reckon it was off the wrong edge. 
just love the shapes he makes in between each edge and as the edges change. Some fine spins that'll give him level fours, the highest level you can get in that particular element. That a lovely bit of choreography. We can't see the whole body, but very difficult to do. Flowed through it, made it look effortless. It's one thing getting down, isn't it? But getting back up, up again is... Uh, <sighs> Couldn't make it, could we? No, <laughs> very difficult. Well, shame we didn't get to see the flip again, but I'm pretty sure that was off an outside edge, which will get called by the technical specialist if that was the case. Looks like you, Nikki. <laughs> Only after a couple of drinks. The two more than my eyes will probably go red. But really. So 78.14, the, oh, the score. That will be good enough to put him into second place. And uh, quite a margin between him and Poncero. But uh, he's left himself with a, a little...